Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And in December 2016, I posted a video called How to Prevent Your RV from Scraping Bottom on Pavement. And it was showing my skid wheels that I got. And the problem is when you're going down a ramp, and by a ramp I mean descending from a parking lot to the street is usually the way it is where the parking lot is at a higher level than the street so they build a ramp going up into the parking lot now as you go up a ramp it's not a problem but as you go down the ramp onto the street that is where the rear of your motorhome or your RV can easily scrape the bottom of it onto the pavement and that can do some serious damage to the components on the bottom of your RV. So one way to prevent that from happening, probably the only way, <laughs> is to install skid wheels. But there's one problem with skid wheels that I did not realize when I had them installed and the RV repair shop that talked me into getting them never mentioned this. And the problem is they're not designed for a rear engine motorhomes like diesel pushers because that engine and everything back there creates just too much weight for the skid wheels to handle so if you have a gas engine RV where the gas engine is always up front on gas engine RVs or a class C or even on a RV that you're towing the weight in the rear is not all that much in fact most of the weight is going to be on the front where the engine is so in this case a skid wheel is just perfect for those but for a diesel pusher it's a significant problem and let me tell you why so I'm going to go back there and show you what they look like and explain to you what the problem is so I'm underneath my motorhome and this is what the skid wheel looks like this is all steel and this plate that goes around is I forget what they call it it's some kind of plastic and this piece right here is welded to the frame there and then the wheel assembly is bolted onto that plate that is welded to the frame and this one I just put on it's never touched ground yet and since I've had these skid wheels I have had to replace four of them <laughs> and it's about to be five so this is what happened to the one I replaced this red part and then this entire inner structure all completely cracked and all that was left was this part of it and the way that happens is when you hit really hard on something where it puts such amount of pressure onto the wheel that it just can't handle it then this whole inner part will just crack apart into several pieces so this is what I just took off and fortunately these wheels are easy to replace in fact I did this one myself I just replaced it I unscrewed the bolts here for the old one put the new screws back on it's fairly easy to replace but then these things I think they cost a couple hundred dollars. Now let me show you the other one. <laughs> Look at this one. This red part has just popped off. The steel part is still there, but then, as you can see here, it is just rocking around. So it's not gonna take long before this one busts off too. And the next time this one hits something pretty hard, it ain't gonna take much before it is on the ground and just completely torn off of the fixture here there is one other type of skid wheel it's called a roller it's all steel and it's a lot smaller I want to try that I'm not sure if it's gonna fit into the plates that I have welded onto my frame but I'm gonna give it a try it looks like it would be less susceptible to getting broken
than these are. It doesn't have the big wheel like that one does. So I don't know when I'll get around to doing that. And if I do, and that becomes successful, then I will make another video to let you know about those. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video to you in case you are considering getting skid wheels for your RV. And if you have, please comment below as what your experience has been using the skid wheels and then also if you've had a problem without the skid wheels in your RV scraping bottom. And this new type of wheel I'm talking about, I'll put a link in the description below so that you can see what it looks like. So I hope this has helped you. Good day folks.